For your midweek tomorrow fix, we've got some more news for you. Mike, tell me what's going on with some satellites. Well, uh, um, what I wanted to talk about is actually that there's uh, lots of different updates that have been going on with satellite servicing missions. There's mm -hmm. lots of different projects and proposals that have been going on over the years. But first, I wanted to start it off with Orbital ATK's proposal. Now, Orbital ATK's is developing something they're calling the Mission Extension Vehicle, or MEV-1. And they've completed the critical design. Uh, they've completed that design review earlier this year, and they're now about 75% complete with the production of the platform and the payload components that are already being delivered to their satellite manufacturing facility in Virginia. And despite not being uh, uh, picked for a DARPA program, which uh, some say that they've never even applied to in the first place, Orbital ATK is still seeing their concept as something that the industry needs and that could be very profitable for them. The space track will begin system level design testing in the spring of 2018 and then they're going to have their first launch later next year and MEV will be provide a, a life for their first uh, customer Intel sat so I find that really interesting in that they're pushing right along with their progress for it now speaking of DARPA orbital orbital ATK did have that lawsuit against DARPA um, saying that their whole robotic servicing and geosynchronous satellite program, which uh, contracted out to Space Systems Loral, uh, was, going, was totally unfair in giving Space Systems Loral an unfair advantage. But that lawsuit was dismissed in court. Recently, though, it seems that DARPA may already be transitioning the program into Space System Loral's hands commercially. And suggestions of rumors have been going around that DARPA may be forced to stop funding the project, although no official reports have been released yet. Meanwhile, Space Systems Loral is also working on NASA's satellite servicing project called Restore L, which is essentially the same goal, although it would be for low Earth or even medium Earth orbit satellites. Now, one way to, to, to look at this is that no matter what happens, one way or another, I believe that these ideas are going to be uh, very helpful in the satellite industry and will extend the lifespan of a lot of our communication satellites for many, many years. And one way or another, however this goes, I think that this is going to be very, very helpful. And I, for one, am really glad to see competition right from the get-go from these uh, two American companies. So uh, I'm really looking forward to these next year. Both missions are going to be uh, doing lots of different testing. And uh, if this works, then we'll be able to utilize a lot of our technology for many years to come. Uh, if you like that news and are interested in more, feel free to come on over and check out Orbit 10.34, or you can join us live every Saturday at 1800 UTC.